My whole life, adults had told me not to be in a rush to grow up. I couldn't understand why growing up could be so scary. To me, growing up was becoming wiser, stronger, having a voice where people actually wanted to listen. It wasn't until the age of 13 where I started to realize why adults had warned me. My rose-tinted shades were lifted and I started to realize maybe growing up wasn't what I'd wanted. Maybe I just wanted power, beauty, respect. We are programmed to become aware of ourselves, our appearance, what we can and cannot say, what we can and cannot do, our limitations creatively. I'm now 15 and I've grown up just a bit. <laughs> and people are starting to take me more seriously. I think I'm in the midst of becoming a young adult. It's as scary as people make it out to be. Times that by 10. Now, the reason why it's scary. I'm in the middle. I'm still seen as young, but I don't sit at the kids' table anymore. I'm not seen as old either. My opinions, do they really matter? I can't legally have a job, smoke, drink, drive. In my opinion, I'm not ready for my first kiss, my first relationship. So what am I? I'm a teenager. My body is being flooded with hormones. My brain is confused. I'm questioning everything, questioning life, questioning death, religion, the economy, money, wealth, love. Along with all of these budding questions, hormones create mood swings. Up and down, up and down. One minute, everything's fine, and then the next, it's not. As a teenage girl, there are so many standards to fit into. Not too slim, not too thick, you've got to smoke, you've got to drink. Not too confident, nor insecure. Not too experienced, not too pure. Don't be quiet, don't speak too much. Never refuse a hot man's touch. No matter how much it burns. Don't cry, don't lie, too talkative, too shy, and don't even get me started on social media. Not enough likes or way too many, and man, oh man, if I had a penny, for every time a girl's face is bare or she isn't posing, people stare. For what the media sees, well, filters are key, but we never reveal. This isn't the real me. When a teen does something wrong, we're told to grow up. But aren't adults always saying, don't rush to get old? When we post revealing pictures, we're either shamed or worshipped. Don't tell me I'm too young to understand. And parents. Well, I know that I got lucky in that department, but I know that majority don't. Parents shield their kids from reality. Like that makes any difference. Truth is, they sneak and they slither through forbidden fruit, discovering the world completely unprotected. It sounds selfish, but as a teenager, most of the time we feel completely alone. We could be standing in a crowd or surrounded by a million people who care for us. But feeling alone is just the way it is, helpless like nothing can detangle the problems that we are facing. Our problems are like knots in long hair, entangled in one another. No conditioner or comb can release the knot. We struggle and we struggle, which tightens the knot, and eventually, we do what we have to do. We cut off that piece of hair, just like we cut everyone around us off. For me, Personally, when I'm anxious, I zone out. 
and create an escape plan. A perfect life, a bubbly, happier version of me, which my brain, when under pressure, becomes. Derealization. Something that I could not understand and something that I still struggle to explain. It's like I'm watching my life as if it's a movie. Everything around me seems surreal. Walking across the road is what I find challenging. That immense state of surrealism is frightening. I waft in and out of the state. Sometimes it lasts hours, days, weeks, months. And then all of a sudden, everything's just back to normal. This is my fight or flight natural instinct. The derealization started happening around six months ago. I remember my first panic attack around three months ago. It started during an art class. I had slight chest pain. I forced myself to remain calm, but by pushing my emotions down, they only augmented. My brain immediately went into panic mode, scrolling through the reasons of why I could have chest pain. Gastrosophical reflux disease, asthma, collapsed lung, hiatal hernia, a heart attack, or COVID-19. The first thing that I immediately thought, am I going to spread this disease and kill people? I didn't even worry about having corona. I worried about the impact it would have on my family and my friends and the people who surrounded me. After about two hours, the chest pain worsened. I felt lightheaded and flushed and it felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. The hospital was bright and clean and for COVID reasons, that was the last place that I wanted to be. It felt like the world was against me. Like none of the doctors or nurses were trying to help me. Of course that wasn't true. I felt scared, even though my mom was holding my hand and I was in a place where people were trying to help. I just felt this complete and utter fear. I was put on an ECG. Doctors examined me and eventually the panic slowly started to fade. I did not have COVID-19. I had anxiety. Since then, I learned how to cope. I couldn't live like this downward, spiraling at every negative thought that popped into my head. I have, after three months, found stability. I found coping mechanisms to guide me and ground me through this frightening journey of becoming a teenager. I've written a 26,000 word novel and will be publishing soon. I've taken up various hobbies, Painting, drawing, cooking, ceramics, guitar, ukulele, piano, sewing, photography, acting, dancing, and way too many more to name. And then there's singing. Something that has healed me since a young age. When I sing, I feel like I have a voice in this world. Like people really want to listen to what I have to say. As a four-year-old or a 15-year-old, Singing has helped me feel powerful, heard. I'm a teenager, not a caterpillar nor a butterfly. I'm in my pupa stage, not a seed nor a flower. I'm just a little sprout, not a child or an adult. I'm in between. I've accepted that I'm in the middle.